Good timing. Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Call of Tuesdays. That is a mouthful. And we are back again with Edge of Darkness. This is episode three of our Edge of Darkness scenario. Over to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, welcome, everybody, to Call of Tuesday. Where we left off last week, our investigators, uh, Wilfred, Blake, and Elsie were finishing up at the uh, Mr. Tonic Library, where Blake made a call to his mother to find out more information about the, the gin. Wilfred needed, you know, to, you know, take a, a bio break while Elsie went and had a chat with Dr. Jones, feeling a little bit uh, unsure of herself as to why she's there and queried a couple of things about, you know, Wilfred and supplies for these kind of missions. They all finish up their job and uh, head back to the penthouse where Leonora and Donald were discussing... Eventually, everybody catches up. The party then decided to just take different paths to meet up at a, a different location to uh, drive off to Ross's corner. A small little little village or little town or hamlet. The people were very unsure of the new visitors to town. They went into the general store, met Mar Peters, who told them a little bit about the uh, the farmhouse that they inquired about, and uh, headed off to the farmhouse, where I did uh, a little bit of a, a scoot around the, uh, the the perimeter, Blake and Blake and Donald, while uh, Elsie was attempting to look at a garden bed and kind of tripped over herself a little bit. Wilford trying to assist, but uh, eventually Leonora, um, you know, went over to check, make sure Elsie wasn't injured and, and noticed a dead raccoon to which she proceeded to take out the gift left by Wilfred and use that to try and move the body around just to see what had happened to which they you know, discovered that the raccoon's breastplate was ripped apart and uh, the heart was removed. Went inside with an early investigation of uh, uh, Blake and Donald, noticing that the back door was uh, was left wide open. Uh, did note there is an attic um, in one of the rooms and further further moving forward into the room uh, they noticed a set of stairs moving down to a cellar Leonora put on uh, or activated her lantern and with the rest of the team uh, walked down to down the stairs where she was met by a voice and this is where we pick up today's session jake has come out and because he has yelled Carl, get away from me it's it's given away his surprise uh but he's still going to attempt to hit Leonora, who's coming down, well, literally down towards the bottom of the stairs. Uh, so he's going to attack uh, to which he actually misses. Now, Leonora, you have an opportunity to uh, react to Jake coming at you. What would you like to do? You can, for, for the viewers, there's generally three options. The defender can either dodge they can fight back or they can do a special move uh what they call as a maneuver so leonora what would you like to do with jake coming at you um i would like to attack okay and i will attack with my marital aid all right um
Yeah, nah. Okay, you missed as well. All right, so what has happened? Jake has come out swinging, um, obviously with not a lot of light in the in the cellar. Only comes out and just wildly, wildly swings. Leonora hears this coming out and it's just kind of reactionary. Is just swipe back. Both have missed and. Jay kind of moves a little bit forward and and realizes that there's a, a bit of you falling falling down there. I, I assume you're all you're still standing on the stairs. Uh, and, and and Jake's hurt. Jake's Jake's going. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. I thought I thought you were. I thought you were that thing. Uh, uh, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And he 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 drops he drops the uh, the the table leg. Uh, and and he's just looking like he you you can tell even just by the tone of his voice he's he's very 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 frightened very scared. That thing, we are here because of that thing. Well, I think we're talking about the same thing. And I put my marital aid back in my bag to right. show that I'm not. Uh, threat. Okay. He's, uh, he's, he's kind of like looking to where you guys all are and uh, are, you, are you guys what, what are you still staying where you are? You, you're you planning to move? What's everybody I'm doing? I'm going to stay here for now. Okay. So with your block in the stairs, he's, he's literally got no way out. Um, he's just going, alright. Uh, I just want I want to get out of here. I just gotta go. I just want to leave. I don't want to be here. It's it's no No, I just I just need to go. I, I it, Can you let me go, please? Please? I, I, I I've got nothing. I, I really got nothing here and and he's just mumbling and and Just going on like he, he's very very this guy is literally Shit scared what exactly are you talking about, sir? What what have you seen? It's the, the thing. It's it's here. It's here. It's here. And it it will it will get me. And I don't want to be here when 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 I don't want to be here. Can can I go, please? So why haven't you left already? Roll. Are you trying to talk him down? Yeah, I um I can't move my token, but I would I would have probably stepped forward past Lenora uh, in an attempt to calm him at this point. I mean, I, I wouldn't step forward to, like, right to him, maybe yep. sort, of, sort of where I'm at, just uh, sort of six or seven feet. Um, one hand raised, like I've got my cane on my other hand, but the other hand sort of raised in a, in a gesture of, like, hey, calm down kind of thing. Okay. If you would like to... Uh... Anybody can roll a psychology roll. Man, I had 40, but I, I said I don't think I've rolled a decent roll Oof. since I played, started playing this game. <laughs> All right, uh, so... That's a 19 out of a f possible 40, so um, it's a that's hard a success. Yeah. yeah, that's a hard success, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you, you can tell, like, not only is he, like, he's in a lot of shock, so if you... Blake, if you're willing to keep going on your, um, like trying to calm him down, I would say either a persuade or maybe charm. But yeah, definitely, I'd, I'd be sort of looking at him saying, well, I mean, if you were wanting to leave, why haven't you done so already? But I mean, uh, we're not here to hurt you at all. Just, uh, just so calm down, sir. Roll your either persuade or charm. Persuade. Extreme success. Ooh. Oh shit! Damn. Look at you. All right. <laughs> Finally, a decent roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. And at that point, with that, I'd sort of approach him slowly. I would assume we would have had like canteens of water bought with us. Uh, if we we're going to be, I mean, we would have had some reasonable supplies, um, and I'd offer him water. 
Alright. Um, I'm just having a quick look. Alright, so he has... I'm just gonna roll a D. Actually, no. I'd offer him a cigarette. Okay. So I mean, looking at the era, most oh. people would have smoked in that in that time frame. So I'd probably more likely offer him a cigarette to try and calm his nerves. So he 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 hears the calmness in your voice, uh, just the way that you're you're speaking to him. Obviously, in your line of work. Uh, as a you know, as a journalist, you would have probably had to deal with with uh, people um, in very similar situations. So, with your extreme success, it's kind of like this is just feels so good. You know, this is just second nature to to you. You offer him the cigarette, you know, in a non-threatening manner, and you you can see his hand. Like reaching out and is visible. Like you can see, even just in the poor light, he is visibly shaking. Like and so, he like he grabs it, and you can feel it as it's coming into the palm of your hand. You can feel how how bad his yeah. hand is shaking, and he takes it and and lights up because he he will just have a he will just have a match, and he he lights up and. Uh, he, he he walks over to the chair over here and and takes a sit down, collect his thoughts and, and take a moment. Um, I I I I haven't left because because I only just came inside not long ago to get my things, and then I heard. Then I had a car coming, so I just I just ran inside and and just came down here. It 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 just was it just wasn't safe for me. I uh uh I mean I even like when I woke up I was like I I I was just leaning up against a tree. Just, uh, just because the events of the previous night, I was just, I guess I was just that tired. Uh. Uh, I think the car was us. I'm going to whisper to Wilfred and Lenora because they're in front of me. I'd, yeah. I'd, at this stage, I'd move, move forward slightly, allow the rest of them to sort of gain a bit more access if they wanted it. Not getting too close, not much closer to him, like cause he's he's obviously still spooked, even though I've sort of calmed him a little. Yep. Um, not not moving quickly and sort of looking over my shoulder to the others, giving them sort of a look, saying, "Hey, look, just take it easy." Um, yep. This guy's gonna freak out at the <laughs> at the drop of a pin, probably. <laughs> so there's a for the players. There's a, a look of Jake. So you can see. Um, well, I, I think, sir, it's just us right now. So, I mean, we didn't see anybody upstairs, do we? we no, we didn't see anybody, so. It, there was a dead raccoon. Yeah. I, I've always found that uh, hobos have quite a deep spiritual connection to the the lands and inhabit and, and maybe this gentleman's um seen something uh otherworldly uh is that the case sir the um oh i mean i i i can't explain it but uh I didn't, like he's he's watching as what what all you guys are doing as well as you as you're talking to him. Ah, uh, I mean I only came here last night. I was uh, uh, I was I was just traveling through town, and I uh, yeah I was it was getting 
getting towards dusk and I, I, I found this farmhouse, I found this farmhouse and didn't look like there was anybody here. So I thought oh, this would be, uh, this, this would be a good place to, and yeah, he's smoking away. This, this might be a good place to, you know, to, uh, you know, just at least rest up for, for a night or two. Does anyone by any chance have any whiskey on them? Or gin? Left it at the hotel. I mean, it, it is against the law, Donald, to carry that kind of beverage. You are aware of this. Pro prohibition, my boy. Yeah, we totally don't do anything. It's only illegal if you get caught. Jeez. Hence why we do not carry it out in public. Uh, forgive me, sir. Uh, my name is uh, Mr. Blake Rollins, and these are my associates. And and your name is, if you don't mind. I uh, everyone just calls me Red Jake. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, uh, Jake. Now you say you've been here uh, since last evening. Yes, sir. And when did you first uh, see this creature you've been talking about? Was that last evening or today? Well, I, I, I didn't really see anything. Uh, you know, as I was... Um, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, after I, I came in and and uh, put my things on the table, which uh, for those who investigated the table would would think back and probably think this is um, this is Jake's stuff. Uh, I I I went to I went to find some uh, some firewood. For, for, for the fireplace to stay warm for the night for the night and as as I was re returning with the the, 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 the firewood uh, the, I I had this strange sound it, it I, I can't describe what it like initially what it sounded like uh and you know he's 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 still spooked but you can tell he's he's trying to collect his thoughts and 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 just smoking away uh but as as i was getting towards the barn i had this this shriek it was it was ear piercing. It was nothing. I've I, I've I've never heard anything like it before. It was it was scary as as all hell. And then I saw this sh shadow. You know they're missing a, a a woman in town. Maybe did it sound like a female or? Oh, this is this is, this is this is uh. This is this is not human. Uh, uh, I've I've heard many a man and, and and woman woman shriek and scream, but nothing like this. This is uh, it was it was animalistic, if anything. Uh, may it have been one of the possums that uh... the raccoon? Yeah, the raccoon. You don't need to worry about the raccoon. It's dead now. I mean, if that was a raccoon... Mm. I... Well, <laughs> that's not a raccoon shriek that I heard. Um, and you've seen nothing, like, physical, to well, maybe allude to what this noise must might have been? Well, all I heard was this shriek. 
And then, as I said, there was this shadow that came from the house. And then, and then there was this. So the shadow was in the house or outside the house? Ah, uh, you can see him. You can see him like taking taking a moment. He goes. It looked like it came from the house to outside. And then there was this. There was this stench. It was like rotten meat. It was really bad. And I don't know. I, I think just just the the this just this shriek just made me turn and and start running and. The more I ran, I could hear it shrieking, getting closer towards me. And and as I entered the the uh, as I entered into the the, the woodlands, you know, I thought I thought if I go there, I might be able to shake it. Uh, I, I probably ran for another I don't know another fifty yard, hundred yards in and. Then it wasn't following me anymore. It's it it's it's like it's like it couldn't find me at, or found something something else to attack. Mm. And moments after, that, like it was only maybe a few moments after that, there was that blood curdling shriek again. And 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 then there was a second a second screen. Did and that second screen sound different? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it was different. And and. I I just found a uh, uh, I just I just found a tree that was um, had lots of um, shrubbery around and such so that I, uh, at least I thought I was hidden enough in case it come back to 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 find me because uh, I know I know being. Being being in the army, you you don't you, like you you search you search everything to make sure you 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 leave uh, no st stone unturned, particularly if there's an enemy around. And and uh, the next thing I know, it was it was uh, the, the the middle of the day, and I I still didn't want to move just in case. What possessed you to come back, though? Surely you sh shouldn't have come back here if something as, as dreadful as you say was taking place here. Why Why would you risk it? To get my things. Sh surely that's, that's not enough to... Uh, it appears this man's meager possessions mean a lot to him. Well, Wilfred. yeah, he did say he heard a car and then he ran down here, so maybe he is afraid of us? Ah, uh, I mean... I thought it might have been maybe the people who are in this place, or maybe it was... maybe someone else uses this for a hide? I don't know. I just heard a car and then just, just as I was walking in, and I just kind of... kind of just hid down here. Just maybe it passed by. Uh, and then I heard your footsteps and such, so I just stayed where I was. Just stayed where I was. Well, there's no need to be afraid of us. Except maybe that Blake guy. I mean, you tried to attack this man with a marital aid. That is not what it's for, my dear. I keep telling you. You can't be waving that around, Auntie Dora. 
I've locked Put for it that back reason. in my bag. I promise. For, forgive my associates, Jake. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I believe that we may... I mean, we have no need of this gentleman any further, I believe. Maybe we should allow him to gather his things and depart. And maybe giving him, give him some food. I'm gonna look around the shelves of something. Maybe we can find something. Mm. Oh, uh, you, you you don't have to you don't have to you don't have to travel me for 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 stuff. I all, all I want is just get my stuff and 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 leave. It's quite all right. Um, Blake would now walk uh, literally walk over to him. I mean, I'm assuming he's a lot calmer now from when we when we first came in. I mean, still he's, agitated, but yeah, he's still agitated. He's still like relatively spooked. Like he he's still hoping like he still just wants to get out of here yeah. but he's because of your demeanor and and how you approach him and in the cigarette and and stuff like that he's like he 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 he's being a soldier and such it's kind of like he's he's as he's talking he's trying to he's calming himself down so, you know it's, um... it's kind of like he's like the, the, for something like this to, to spook to spook this guy, it's it, it's yeah. pretty big. So with that, uh, Blake would take a couple steps closer to him, uh, reach into his pocket, and pull out the remainder of the pack of cigarettes that he had open, which probably only has maybe, I don't know, maybe eight or nine cigarettes left in it. Um, he'll also grab a $5 bill out of his breast pocket and put it inside the pack of the cigarettes and hand it to him. All right, the, all right I'm going to... Are you? I'm not trying that... to. I'm, I'm not trying to hide it. I mean, it, if he sees, he sees. If he doesn't, uh, you know, um, it's, it's not really like. I'm not trying to purposely hide it, but I'm not yeah. trying. I'm not trying to be overt about it either. No. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm just trying to think what he would. I'm just gonna roll and. Yeah, he doesn't. He, 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 he doesn't. He, he's not focusing on what you're doing. Uh, he's, he's, he's just kind of. Yeah, he's kind of looking around the room, still looking at what everybody is doing, uh, uh, and so the moment you hand him the the packet of cigarettes, he. He, 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 he looks at you and he goes, oh, Take it. thank you, sir. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I just, thank you, sir. I just, I just want to go. I just want to find my things. I, I, I just, I just want to go find the next job so I can get to California and see my family. So you take that. You, that's yours. You keep it. And I'll also um, hand him a book of matches as well. Okay. So I can go. Well, I have no objection to you going on going about your day. Uh, anybody else? I move off the stairs so he he knows that he's free to leave. Uh, and with that, he he stands and he, he just slowly walks. As he gets to you, Leonora, he he goes, "I'm I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am, for for singing at you. It was I, I I was just protecting myself. I'm I apologize deeply." That's okay. I completely understand. You sure you don't want to stay for, like, supper or something? I mean, we might be here a bit. The moment you say stay, he's just looking at you and just shaking his head going, no. Nah. <laughs> he, he, he's determined to get out of here. Okay. So he... Time he gets up the stairs and none of you guys have um, gone any further. 
he just bolts. He just bolts. You can hear him going up the stairs. You can hear his footsteps. Um, you can hear his footsteps going towards um, towards the table. Uh, and he he picks up. Even though you guys cannot see this, you know that he's collecting his gear very very rush, and. He's just grabbed whatever he can, and he's just run straight out of that back door. And Wilfred's sort of like looking around. He's like, well, I just want to say now, just in case I don't get a chance to say it later, that if he comes back and brutally murders us all, I I feel like I told you so. Yeah, I don't think that'll happen somehow. I, I mean, we, we'll he came fine. back here after hearing an unworldly shriek to collect his things. You don't think that's odd? People do stupid things when they are scared. A man is petrified. Give we him are a here, that is and true. And not only that, I mean, I would imagine that everything he owns was in this house. There's everything you own and then there's your mortal life. The two don't stack up evenly, I'm afraid. Until you have been in his situation where literally everything you own can fit into a small bag on your back, you will never understand. Maybe he was coming in to, like, shut out the bad thing outside, but then again, the door was open, so... As you say, when you are scared, you do things differently. Do you think that uh, Rupert and everybody left some stuff here for us for the the ritual? Maybe some. I certainly we hope so. Always, we can always search. Some candles or something. When this basement is dark and dusty, <laughs> lots of old lots of old things lying around. I'm going to search the room. I'm going to look around with my. Okay. I will. Uh, I'll be. I will assisting. aid as well. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, I know he's just. I don't know if we all roll. I don't. I mean. I want to help as well. well. <laughs> I mean, whether we all roll and Spot. we find what we find, or one person rolls with a added, added. I'm not sure how it works. And how does assisted rolls work, Keeper? Okay. Um, I will say with an assisted roll, whoever is going to do. The investigating, or in this case, it would be spot hidden. Uh, that person can have an additional die to their roll. Well, we if you're all doing it individually, it will be individual spot yes. hidden rolls. We all know what my rolls are like, so I, I, I will opt out of rolling. Well, my spot hidden's 25, so I'm opting out as well. <laughs> I, I have 45 out of 100 times I've found a pencil when I needed it, so... <laughs> I, got I 40 have a as 50 well, but... spot hidden if you would like yeah. some help. Else. So what, what I will say is one person can assist Elsie and one person can assist... Leonora, if that's what the team wants to do. Actually, that, that sounds like a good, a good idea. So, bonus die, yeah? Bonus die to both. Okay. I don't know what close card is. We're going to hard success. What the, that's weird how it rolled like that. Uh, you Roll again you because you had the bonus master. die, Leonora. Looks like you had the... Looks like I had a 40 and a... Yeah, that's weird. That is um, a weird way to roll. Be because the game's got you as Game Master, I would believe. Oh, yeah, maybe. You need to select, yeah, you need to, to select Elsie's token before you roll. Yeah. Maybe. Let me try. Uh, I'll try I think again. I'll... Uh, Why did I hit... Uh, no. <laughs> Jesus, what is going on? <laughs> Professional streamers here, guys. We know what we're doing. What is going on? Okay, I got a there good thing. Go. I did a good thing. Okay. Yep. There you go. Now, <laughs> when you're doing the roll, you should have had like the little um, slider for the extra 
Barnes die. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I know. I, I did mine. That. It says <laughs> two tens dice. It took the lower, so. Okay, so you got a you got the twenty. Okay. Yep. Okay. Both hard right, successes. So you both got hard successes. Okay. Um. You both find some more lanterns. You find some uh, additional oil and uh, some wicks for the lanterns. Along the shelves, you find nothing very significant or useful. Um, you do also see with your heart success the tarpaulin that is over in the far corner and you kind of swear there's something underneath it other than the 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 stack of wood you can also like for those who are also in the room you can see that there's um uh, there's bottles containing good liquor um iron pots pans for cooking tableware for eating um you can also see behind the set of stairs leading back up, there's a eight foot ladder. So if anyone wanted to go up into the attic, you will have a good way of uh, going up there or any other um, thing you may need to climb. Uh, other than that, you just find old tools, hammers, hand saws, drills, uh, chisels, we could use some of this as a weapon. Use some of these tools. You could. And we've got heaps more lanterns and oil and stuff now. So I'll relay what I'm looking at to the group out loud as I'm looking around. And uh, you said I... Shall we, huh? Shall we see what's under the top? Mm. I mean, I... I feel like we need to find the the book it mentioned in the journal. I'm hoping it'll be here, otherwise we might be out of luck. I agree, Wilford, with you. We need to find everything we need for this ritual. Okay. So we can maybe either remove this creature from this world, or at the very least bind it. Okay. I go over and remove the top. Okay. Okay. So Donald goes over and removes the the top pollen. Underneath there, you can see this like like kind of more like to the to the to your standing left, you can see like there's a, a pile of more wood like firewood, etc., etc. Um, but to the right, you can see a very expensive looking travel trunk the straps are fastened and the latches are secured i go over and investigate <laughs> you see an expensive looking travel trunk <laughs> the straps are fastened and the latches are secured okay, what do you so, see there <laughs> uh start to unfasten it okay um yeah there's no locks or anything like that so yeah you, you easily uh remove the, the 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 travel latches not a problem um you flip them open you open up the trunk uh i take it you've got a lantern with you as well donald i'll be no. holding a, i'll be holding a lantern up for him okay so you can see so the first thing that you notice as you lift up the lid of the lamp uh, of, of the lantern the lid of the trunk <laughs> um 
the underneath side of it is the same warding sigils that are surrounding the house. I th think we may have found what we're looking for. Looks like... Uh, looks like the trunk has been... graffitied with the same markings of the house. Mm. Wilfred, if you'd be so kind, you seem to be more familiar with the journal than the rest of us. Hmm. Oh, I will inspect the... The writings, but they're the same. I don't know what else. Yeah, they're they're, they're the same. They're you, Blake. You would you would have recognised them straight yeah, away. Yeah, I'd sort of mean the trunk in general, going through the help go through the trunk, so we know if this is what we're looking for, basically. All right, right, we, yep. I would assume it is. But. Yep, understood. Uh, so, as Wilfred and Donald look inside the trunk, you can, you can see um, just some folded cloth at first that's all you see at the moment um, I'll unfold the cloth okay so you pick up you pick up what you think is just a, 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 a singular piece of cloth it kind of you pick up a couple at the same time and as you unfold it, you see that it's um, just a, a, a black robe, kind of like, um, kind of like a, a, you know the what you would see in the monastery, kind of traditional monk, kind of undertakerish kind of robe. Um, Wilfred, you also go in and grab the same. You pull out an, another four of them. Underneath the robe itself, you see a cigar box. Underneath that is a sh uh, several sheaves of uh, yellow papers. And Donald, one of the robes that you pull out and, and shake, there's a, another piece of paper that just falls out. Uh, pick the piece of paper up and have a look. Okay. So you pick up the piece of paper. You probably move towards over Blake a little bit. So you can get a little bit more uh, yeah. better light. And you see this letter. Uh, just give me a moment because that's probably a bit difficult for you guys to to read. No, it's not too bad. To. The letter is dated 23rd of March, 18... 77. I don't know why I'm putting this down on paper. It's probably a bad idea, but I feel the need to leave some kind of explanation for my actions, actions and intent. When I took the sarcophagus from my uncle, I did not think it would be missed. I expected to be able to research and return it later. I was such a fool. Despite believing in the powers we tried to summon, I grossly misunderstood the consequences. Now Robert is dead and Harold a madman. I'm going back to the farmhouse to organize our things. I dread stepping foot again in that place, but I must make sure that our materials will be available again when we need them. Since the others are too shaken to attempt the banishment of the creature, I can only hope that the thing hasn't the power to remain in our reality more than a few hours or days. At least it's bound to the house itself. I shall search for a means to destroy it before the last of us passes from this world and is released from the house, if it's still there. I believe I know where I can find the knowledge I need to drive the creature away 
without assistance from others. I hear tales of mystics in New Orleans that know much of the true magics of the world. I'm leaving the gold box in Rupert's care. I told him not to sell it or have it appraised by anyone, but I, I did not tell him why. He also seemed puzzled by my insistence not to live in Boston, but I believe he trusts my judgment not to go into danger unwittingly. My uncle does not know about our dark brotherhood, so Rupert and the others will be safe from anyone looking for it. I'll be back to put things right again. And it's signed Marion, Marion Allen. P.S. I write this before I close the lid on the trunk. The thing is still in the attic of the house. It seems to recognize me and spoke foul curses at me. I will carve protective wards on the trunk to prevent any tampering with its contents just in case. So that's why you went to New Orleans then. Indeed. I mean, he is correct. Uh, New Orleans is probably one of the better places to find out about the occult and such things. And with that, I also have a look at the other pieces of paper that we found. Okay. So I believe this is what was written in the journal, Wilfred. So this here is probably what we need to either banish or bind or whatever we need to do with this creature. That's the wrong one. So he felt he could um, just uh, do it all by himself and fix everything. <laughs> so let's hope for us to fix it then. Maybe so, maybe so. I certainly hope so, Elsie. Okay, so... Donald picks up the other pieces of paper. The first one you pick up is only the top piece of paper that the, the, the module has put both of them down. So this is more for, um, for, for something else. You only see the top one. Okay. Um, Donald, do you know Latin at all? <laughs> is, is he... I know French. French. Yeah, no. Are you showing it around or okay. are you looking at it by yourself? I'll take that as a no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> is it, I mean, if it's, if it's on your languages, yeah, it should yeah. be language Latin. Yeah, I've only got French. Uh, does okay. anyone know what this language is? Wilfred knows Latin, although that's another thing that I notice isn't right on my sheet. <laughs> that you don't know it Latin. says one when it should be 21. Oh. Fix it. Yeah, that's that's fine. We will so. um, so we should be well. able to fix that straight away. Um, yeah, do you show? I do. All right. I mean, Wilfred, would you be able to read this? All right, let me just see. Where are you? I fixed him. On my sheet is showing twenty-one. When I open up your sheet, Wilfred. I mean. By the time he said that, it did say twenty-one. <laughs> I, I, I think the other the other mystical powers that are happening have uh... that grin tells you everything. Dem dementia. All right. You're like, oh yeah, I can do so, it. So, Wilfred, uh, yeah, you look over the piece of paper and you do recognise this as the Latin language. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's definitely Latin. It's a bit rusty. It was in my younger days that I. I studied it. I'm not sure whether I'll be able to read it, but I'll definitely give it a go. Roll your language Latin roll then, sir. Oh. Oof. No. Damn. That is a that yeah, that's a that's a that's a fumble. So you do have the option to uh, push the roll. 
if you <laughs> want to try again. <laughs> Up to you, Wilfred. Wilfred's like, oh, I've forgotten so much. And he sort of Come grabs I've forgotten more than I remember. <laughs> he grabs Come something Wilfred, out of his bag and he, and he holds it in his hand. He's like, ah. Oh. You can also try again later if you want to. Uh, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push it because people want it. It's what, give the people right. what they want. It's up to you, dude. <laughs> oh, you say that now. <laughs> that doesn't worry me in the slightest. So do I just roll again? Yeah, just re-roll your Latin language. It's, yeah. it's gonna be bad, but it's, all... <laughs> it's what we're here for. Yeah, but if it's not a fumble, it's probably even better. It's, yeah, not a fumble, but it's still better. Okay, it's, it's not a fumble. So, yeah, I mean. <sighs> You you definitely recognise it as, as as Latin. You can you can quite easily um, like reading over it. You can you know pronounce what is being said or what is written on on the page. Um, you recognise that uh, da, 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 where is it <laughs> you recognize the latin chant has come from the 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 book mentioned in the journal the vermis mysterious um the the ritual itself was for releasing the spirit as you remember but this particular one you can see some of the words have actually been changed so that it meets more of a banishment requirement rather than release there are also an additional five pieces of paper written exactly the same. Hmm. Well, it seems uh, Mr. Allen might have uh, adjusted the the chant for rather than summoning a a, a banishment that these papers are, are are similar, possibly requiring more than one voice to to banish this creature and maybe his hopes of doing it on his own were uh, slim to none. So you're suggesting that we're all going to have to speak these words together? Qu quite possibly. I, I really wish I'd spent more attention in school as a boy. I, um, I'm afraid that uh, my schooling has let me down in this instance, but I mean, it's, it's certainly Latin. Well, the I do not speak mentioned. the language, but I'm sure, given a few moments with some some aid from you, Wilfred, and the pronunciations, I'm sure that we can maybe figure it out how to, at least how to how it should be pronounced, and at least be able to read them off once we know what it means. And the general mentioned some of the stuff we have to do too, so we right. don't need to know what it means, right? If you think it's what it, if it's for banishment. If that's what you believe, then we don't need to understand it. We just need to read it. It certainly seems to be the case from what I can remember, at least. Uh, is there any other pieces of paper? That... There is, yes. Um, you also grab another piece of paper. which should be appearing on everybody's screens. Indeed. Is depicting a pentagram. Various symbols, different uh, different languages. So, uh, uh, some of them look like they're actually the hier hieroglyphics that were on the sarcophagus. Uh, so, trying to decipher them unless you have language hieroglyphics as a skill you won't be able to um, work out what it means but 
obviously this is part of the ritual so it's it's going to you know you guys can ascertain that you're going to need this at some point five pointed star five individuals five pieces of paper I would suggest that we were, we are to stand at the points of the star ourselves and recite these words. Uh, still There's... looking for more pieces of paper. <laughs> yep, you find. Lastly, um, three sheet, three sheets of paper, and reading them um, it, it essentially. The, the long and the short of it is it, it describes what the ritual is, how to perform it, what you guys need to do. The ritual here says that it will take up to two hours to perform, must be started at midnight. At least one person must be speaking aloud the ritual phrases another person must draw the pentagram on the floor while another burns a certain combination of chemicals in a fire nearby um you recall alan's notes mentioning chemicals that resemble a brown powder uh and they again you also recall that his notes mentioned that everything it, that you need for the ritual um, is at the farmhouse. So is everything? Uh, so is it in, everything we need in the trunk? Like the the chemicals are they in the trunk, or do we have to? Is that suggesting we may have to go searching at the, the in the farmhouse? to find the rest of the stuff. I'll, ser I'll search more in the trunks if there's anything else left. The only thing left is a cigar box. I pick the cigar box up and open it. Okay. Um, so this cigar box um, is a particular brand which dates back to the 1870s. Um, it takes a little bit to open it up because it's been sitting in there for a while, you know, the, uh, uh, you know, the different temperatures um, for sitting there. You're assuming it's been sitting there since the, uh, the, the, the date of that, of that letter. Um, but once you pry it open, you see a small metal canister containing a coarse and brownish powder. There is also a smaller wooden box with a sliding lid with the inside the cigar box. Open that lid. All right. And inside that, you find a silvery talcum powder-like substance. I guess this is the brown powder we meant to be putting on the fire. This silver, um, I got no idea. Anybody else? Well, my ex-boyfriend used to that use that. I believe there's a combination of chemicals that we needed for the for the fire. Which I believe is this brown chemical, is it not? Uh, the silver might be as well. I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to read through the journal again briefly. Wilfred, unless you remember exactly what the combination of chemicals was. I, I don't know if it, it said by, by name, it just sort of described the, the effect it had on the flame, I believe. Anyone would like to try and identify this powder? Hmm. You can make a science roll. If you have science chemistry or science pharmacy as well? Nope. Not me. Miles used to uh, use the white powder all the time at parties. Maybe. Oh, Elsie? Uh, uh, I don't think that's the same powder. 
Yeah. Rec rec recreationally, it can be quite quite amusing. I, I've tried once or twice myself. Well, if you've tried, do you think it's the same? I'm absolutely certain this is not the same. And even if it was, I wouldn't suggest you do that with it. So, so did the journal mention the white powder? Roll intelligence. Okay, that's something I'm good at. Any of us or, or just, yeah. Anyone who's read the journal. Hard success. The journal was read out aloud to oh. everybody, so I'll say oh, everybody. Elsie can... with an extreme success. Oh shit! Jesus. I'm very wisdomous. <laughs> I'm not going to even bother with that. <laughs> Elsie, because of your attention to detail, working with Professor Nevada Jones, and and even to a degree. Uh, uh, your 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 previous uh, 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 previous gentleman. You remember Leonora reading out the the the, the journal entry, and it was mentioned there was a silvery powder that could be thrown or useful against. The entity. Oh, clearly, if we throw this towards the um, uh, said uh, being, uh, it would be most helpful, I think, because Auntie Nora was mentioning that when we were reading. I, I recall because I, I do a lot of dictation. So. And now, now that you mention it, Elsie, I, I do recall that as well. Uh, defense against this creature seems very limited supply and I sort of look at it and try and try and work out what it is it would help if we had more perhaps one of us could do the, that um, watcher thing like they did when they were summoning it and we possibly if it goes bad maybe yeah, last dish, uh, maybe a last dish effort to ensure the ritual is complete. I start heading upstairs to the kitchen to see if I can see if, to see if I can find any more of this powder. Okay. Um. You go upstairs and you have a look around. You look through every nook and cranny. You open up all the shelves. You're looking under. You're looking for hidden compartments. You're looking for. You're looking underneath the 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 plates, cutlery, even lifting up. You know, cups. You know, just in case it might be taped to the 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 bottom of the. You can't find anything. There's nothing. There's nothing there. I wasn't gonna get you to roll it because <laughs> there's nothing there. <laughs> everything maybe... that you need was in the trunk. Okay. So maybe we collect uh, everything from here. We head back upstairs and uh, start preparing ourselves. I guess uh, midnight was the hour that suggested that this was to be performed. If I'm Correct. Maybe. Auntie Nora, did you check the cellar? I mean, not the cellar. The attic? Maybe it's up there. I'm not going up there. Not by myself, at least. Yeah, it suggested that the creature is in the attic, Miss, uh, Miss Elsie. Yeah, Probably not such a great idea. I mean, Jake saw that thing outside, too, so I'm thinking it moves around. I personally would not want to risk going into the attic. I mean, if we were to go as a group, perhaps. Well, by looking at the entryway, it looks like it's one at a time. Yeah. 
Unless we can all fit on a step ladder. I mean, the ladder right here. Add steps to the uh, attic from the near the front door as well. No. Okay. That, the, the the ladder that you find in the cellar would be you would use that to prop up. You want so us you... to bring it up? I offer. What? Can't hear you. <laughs> you want us to bring? Maybe maybe we take it up anyway, Miss Elsie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm quite sure if, the, if this creature is in the, in the attic, it, it, it heard us right now <laughs> and knows exactly where we are. <laughs> Possibly, but has anyone seen the bathroom? I... Oh, yeah. You there's do not a... need to go to the bathroom. There's a, <laughs> um, there's a privy outside, I think we saw in the barn. By the um, I'm, pretty sure, I'm sure there's an outhouse uh, somewhere around here, Wilford. We'll, we'll go find it together if you like. <laughs> And with that, <laughs> we will take a break. <laughs> Crash needs to pee! <laughs> to the privy! <laughs> nice segue there, Grim. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just remembered he'd said ages ago. He needed to pee, I'm, I'm like, so oh, sorry. yeah. 